It must have been an update. up on Khan Academy or YouTube. Khan Academy has videos. YouTube you can't get to in school and Khan Academy you can. I've turned this thing like a bunch of times. Turned it in here a bunch of times and it still says turn it. Have you actually attached something? Yeah. Did you refresh? Since you did? I think that's the deal. Yeah, I, I turned it in like at three the other day and before three, and then I got home and I was well, so the, the, the same way I did with the boxes. Use the pictures to show how the equation balances. Oh, no, okay. That's the same equation that you did at eight. So you can scroll up to eight and just pull in the numbers, and then you would have it. Okay. Hey, what if they're both gases? Then they're both that time. Then you have to put the numbers on there. Yeah. Subscript two. What are we finished? Please, or what? You're supposed to be finished already. Right? That was supposed to be over. Yeah, we mean, forgot. Well, after five. Wait, no, so the negative theory is going on no. right? No. You're supposed to finish the first five, right? Yep, yeah, two. And those should be done and you should be submitted. Are Sorry about that. That's okay. Anybody have to? No. I don't know. Okay, thanks. Um, the new one. There are 20, uh, 31 or something no. on the new sheet. No. I want you to do the evens. Wait, where? What's the oxidation? Wait, we have another Is that one? the big number? I looked it up. And I just what about the die? That's the plus and minus. What is the problem? That's what I just said. A minute and a half ago. I told you. I told you. How are you supposed to know? That helps you balance them. Yeah. Nitrogen is green up there. That means you should have a two. Negative three. You should have a two. No, negative three is oxidation number. He's talking about subscript. Oxidation numbers are superscripts. He's talking about Where'd you get? That's why I get confused. Ah. Where'd you get the two? <coughs> the black two on the board. Wait, how do you even do this? Oh, that's what he's talking about. Oh, I don't know why that wasn't even a whole. 
zero and then one all at the same time. So it's literally like thirty dollars. Okay, I'm gonna give you the money like the like the two like oh the two God. You know you charge us less for copper sulfate? I don't know what you're doing. No, it lost me. Hey, and bring it. Normal. It does that every once in a while. Well, that's what that is. 
betting that number two is missing. Yeah, that's no. Everybody go to number two real quick, like. MG SO4. Yeah? It's S and 4. Sometimes that's written with the SO4 in parentheses. And? It means it's together. That means the S is together with the O okay. before the MG is added. So it's just S so and O. <clears throat> that changes things a little bit. So do we add our own parentheses? You don't need to, but what do you know about the S if it combines with the O? Oxygen oxidation number is positive, right? Negative two minus. Two minus. Okay. So what does that mean about the sulfur? If the sulfur combines with the oxygen first, it has to be positive. Does sulfur make it two plus? No, it's too negative. If it's too negative, then what's the plus that goes with it? Remember that the rule you're dealing with is the octet rule. If I give you a math problem. There's an A involved. A is your answer. And you already have a two. What's missing? A six. Wait, where did you get the six from? I was hoping somebody would ask that. So is he added it to the other two? Here's where the six came from. Ferrar. Silver can either steal electron number 17 and number 18 and pretend it's argon. Or it can go back this way. That's two. It's got 16. If it's going to go back to number 10, how many did it lose? Six. Six. Or we can count them. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 6. Okay. If it gives those six away, it'll have 10. It'll be positive six. And it can combine with the negative oxygen. Right? Why can't it be this negative? Because you know how magnets work. You gotta have a plus and a minus. You can, but you can just nope, you got it. it. You got it. You can't have two minuses. Yeah, buddy. So what happens, buddy? I think that's the sulfur has to be positive. So how do you do that? Just like I said. Okay. So that two minus that you put in for sulfur is yeah. wrong. That's what I'm saying. But do we have to put presents yeah. around the... No, you don't have to. It's, it's not a problem. So you just you have magically to. change it to plus two? Yeah. Because it can. No, not plus two. Plus six. Plus six. Remember way back when I told you that some of these have a whole bunch? And these things usually do things? They don't always do things. It depends what they're connected on. Hey, Mr. Snyder. How do you figure out how to run your... You use these subscripts to help you figure out how. You got negative two for one of them. You got zero. How many total positive and negative charges are there? There's negative two negatives. So you're probably going to have to have two positives. There you go. Because molecules have no charge. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. That's what I'm just showing up here. Yeah, I don't get it. If you put sulfur and oxygen in a jar and shake the crap out of it, they're going to connect. Right? Okay. Okay. The oxygen has only eight electrons. Those electrons are closer to the protons. So, if you and me are going to have a tug of war, but you have to hold on out here, and you can't move. Your feet are, like, nailed to the floor. And so am I. I get to start here, and you have to start here. Who's going to win the tug of war? Yes. Can, can you do anything with your balance like this? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> if I can start here, I can lean my whole body back because I'm already in balance and you're not. Same deal here with those oxygens. Those eight are close to the protons. 
So they're holding on. The farther we go down the periodic table, the farther away those outside electrons are from the charge. So just like those two magnets that used to be sitting up here, if they're really close, they connect. If they're farther apart, they're or still close on each other, but it's no big deal. Wow. Yes, but that's why. This one gives away electrons, and this one doesn't. Because these are closer to the proton. So if that one goes that way, then we'll solve for This one goes this way. This one has to go the other way. Hey, you should zip up your jacket quick. And that's, up your jacket. And that's easier to, to think of, is if one is positive, the other one's going to be negative. Where's your torso go? <laughs> 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 I have a camouflage jacket. My torso disappeared. Yeah. So, I know. Okay. Time. So it's negative one plus two. 
Can you add substance? Oh my god. Subs Why do we no. Add, like, no. We're already there. What? What? How do we get out of this egg? Yeah. Crap. Whatever. Two negative. The two should go first, the negative should go second. Wait, what did you just say? The two should go first? In, in math, it's minus two and plus two. It's literally in not chemistry, right. it's two plus and one minus. There's nothing called acetate. Uh, That's three. Thank you. 
3 CO2. Mm -hmm. I found like eight of the same, like it's like a bunch of different things for the same thing. But if there's another word, would it be acetate? This, it's it's no, it's just one thing that acetate is. This one, there's that one, there's that one. Do they all have the same number of things? No, these two, C2, C2, H2, H2 have one. They all have CH3 three H's. And two C's and two O's. This one does. Yeah. And it gets written a lot of different ways. I guess I don't really So is that right? Yeah, yeah, sure. So then what do we put for like the top thing? Yes. And you might want to put that acetate in for of these and treat it like one thing first to figure out what the charge of the whole acetate ion is. What? When you get to the acetate one, put acetate in parentheses and treat it like one thing. Where is it? 26? Treat acetate like one thing, put it in parentheses. Okay, I did that. What are you doing now? I did that. And then you figured out what the charge of the acetate is based on what the charge of the other thing yeah. is. Yeah. Well, and then I'm you figured out the charge of everything inside of there too? Yeah. Did you add them up and did it equal what you figured out? No. It How did you add them up? You should. Okay. Here. Here's one that we already talked about that does that. This is what I'm asking you to do there. I don't know how you can do this without adding subscripts. Do it like that. So I'm just going to add one because... What's the oxidation number of an oxygen? Two minus. The oxidation number of a sulfur? Typically. Two minus because it's right underneath it. Well, you go but you gotta go the other way, which is gonna make it a six plus because six and two equals eight. So we're gonna get rid of that one. If we have one six plus and one two minus, this is gonna be a four plus. Oh, but wait, we have four of these. We have eight negatives. Look at all that mercury. Put a plus sign or an equal sign. Six plus eight minus equals two minus. The positive and the negative are going to have to be, if you have two positives and a negative, these are going to have to hook up and still be negative in order for another positive to come in. You know I'm pretty negative, right? So if I connect here and I still have extra negativity left over, I'm going to connect over there too. So it would be and take two positives to balance out all of my negativity. Yeah. There's a lot of negatives to positives. Uh, 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 negative thir plus 13 now. Yeah. It's never plus 13. Oxidation numbers can never be bigger than 8. These things have an oxidation number of 0 or 8, whatever you want to call it. I figured it out. These things are either negative 1 or plus 7. They can never be bigger than a 7. I figured it out. Cool. It's all equal. Uh, no. It's not. 
<laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? You're, you're adding all kinds of stuff. Can you at least like show me like how like No, I mean like on here. Yeah. Come
didn't know how you found it, find it out until the they told me that. So I had to go the other way to get it to that. Huh? Is But how is that going to work? You just have to figure out how many of each it takes. Yeah, but if this is more, then how are you going to... The same way as that MG in the end. The same way as me being really negative and these girls being a little bit positive. I'm very negative right now. I don't want to do this. <laughs> so what... How do you figure out CU or sulfur? You don't. You figure out sulfur first. Okay. And they told you how many sulfurs and how many copper. There's negative two sulfurs. Sulfur has a negative two charge. Yeah, and CU has to be positive. And it has so to be enough positive so that however many coppers you have balance out those. So what? Is this one plus one? Sure. Uh, you say so. No, it's plus two, isn't it? That's what you said. Oh, that's it. He said the sulfur is two negative. So first two negative. Yeah, copper would be two plus. Okay. Well, there's two. There's not. Is that right? But there is. That's what I'm getting. No, no. Don't be crazy. See? You got this. Oh my god. And then you got two of these. What number do you have to write out of it? Two. You've already done. Two and two makes. Positive. And that's the same thing as two minus. So, no. hey, what yeah. happens like that? that? What number needs to be written on there? Two and eight. No. Two and eight is positive. No, hey, this is either eight or two positive. This is a math question. This is a first grade Maybe math two question. Two plus two. Here's our number, oh and here's our number, and these things have to equal. It does equal. What do I have to write in each one of these boxes? Negative one positive. So that they equal this. Negative one positive. These have to be the same. A positive Because they're the same darn thing. No, they have to be the same number. If these were fives, how many fives would I have? Ten. If there's five here and five here, I'd have ten. Three here and three here, I'd have... Wait, what's that? I'd have six. Because I have three here and I'd have two here, that makes six. What if you get six? If I had two here and I had two here, how many would I have? Four. If I had one here and I had one here, how many would I have? Is those two going to cancel out these two? So then maybe you should put what inside of here? One. A one. Positive so one. how many, what's the charge on the copper? One. You have two coppers to balance out one sulfur, right? So one positive. So you're going to need a plus one and a plus one to balance out two minus. Okay. Magnets. Okay. Do you do that all the time with this? Every single time, time on one. this. One. Like if they're one. middle ones first, then you always have positive. I need a one plus. Positive is first. Almost every single time. There are very few times when that's not true. We're on the struggle bus. Which one was that though? Uh, CUS. Four. Copper sulfate. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it would be more than one. Well, yeah, well did your original problem tell you you have two coppers and one sulfur? Because that's what he's looking at. Why does he have words? Did he change that equation? Did he change that equation? Is it two CUs and one S? No, it's a CUS. Then Austin changed the equation. No, it's CU2. Oh, it's CU2. I don't know. Okay. CU2 S. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about. So, hey. It takes two. So, can you put a one here and a one there? One here and one here? No, you can't change this. No. So, it's just a positive. Yeah. 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 And what this is telling us is it takes two coppers to oh, balance it out one sulfur. Okay. Oh, right. Same thing in number three. It takes two oh, okay. 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 to balance out one. Okay, as well as. Here it takes one and it's to balance out one. So number six is wrong. Yeah. Six is wrong. Okay. That would need to be, uh, no. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You have to write out the equation. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And then you write out chloride. It could be plus six. <laughs> no. Yeah. And then you write out chloride. And that's going to be a negative. Okay, that don't make any sense. Because. Is that right? Is that good enough? Um, you're going to click in there. Okay. Yeah, you're going to go out of there. This is what that says. It says write down the sulfur, give it a charge of two, is first, make it positive. Write down the chlorine, is second, give it a negative. What's the actual charge of the chlorine? Negative. I can barely see. It's a one negative. Yes, it is. So we leave that alone. So how many one negatives do you need to balance out two positives? Wait, don't do this. <laughs> so if it has a charge of negative two before you do it, then you just bring, change it to positive? So you're telling me that with this on this side, if I wrote a, a one negative sign on here, I would have to have two of these? Yeah. How do you write two chlorines? Two subscript. Two. Yes. Is it like that? No. And because it's on the left side, it's first, it has to be a 2 plus, and then it has to be squared. So this would be a 6 and 8. And this is going to be a minus, which has to go up. And now you have to figure out how many of those CLs it's going to take to balance out. Two. There you go. So why make a 2 more? You've got to write 2 chlorines. So chlorine made it the big 2 of the body. Chlorine is a one minus. <laughs> Gonna have to have two of them. Yeah. Gonna have to have two one minuses yeah, but you to balance out two it. plus. Why is chlorine two? Because it wants to be. Wait. Oh, I see. Because chlorine is a positive. Because I'm positive and I need one and one. I need two of you to balance out all of my positivity. No, I see. Oh my gosh. See? There hey. You go. Why is chlorine two? Chlorine is not two. There are two chlorines. Like that, that right. That's what oh, they're, they're saying. Gosh. What? Chlorine is not two. Chlorine is minus one. How do we make it not? How do you not make it equal? You make you make it. Oh, okay. It's not hard. I know we're making it. Hard. You're making it hard. Yes. Think like this. Hey. Honestly, got yeah. grab a handful of these things. A bunch of them are just blank. You just pretend the numbers are on them. Okay, if I have six plus oh, over there, right. and these are each two minus, what? that's going to give me four minus, okay, now I get six minus. What's ID? Roman numeral? Yes, it is. You learned that in like third or fourth grade. Why do you have that? No. There you go. Come here. Where does it lie? Why do you have two here? It says the charge. That's the charge. Like Sulfur has a charge of two. A negative two. Well, and then you change it to positive if it's first. The only time they put that in there is when it is one of those is goofy. <laughs> so that's the only time you change it to a negative. They're, they're, they're positive. Would, they would normally just write sulfur. I don't want like that. Okay. Or magnesium sulfide. Oh okay. But when something has a goofy oxidation number, they put it in there for you. So if it has that, then it's a positive too. Yes. If it didn't have that, I'll put oh, it. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. PB. What's your light test? Peanut butter. Yeah. Where's the SN? What's Which the okay. every intelligent person knows when you make a BLT, you gotta put on some PB also. <laughs> Peanut butter, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. That's it. That is, uh, it's actually that. awesome. It's that like, it's like ridiculously ass. awesome. That's so it's weird. Do you like BLT? Yes. Do you like peanut butter? No. Peanut butter and jelly. Yes. Yes. Mom, did you hear what you just said? No. You put peanut butter on the BLT? Not my dad makes that. Oh, yeah. What's on this egg sandwich? Mayo on this side. Peanut butter on that side. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Okay, so oh, SN is like, has a negative 4, so <laughs> I would just have it as a negative 4 since it doesn't have that other stuff. Oh, okay. Because it's not the thing it says. 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't know where this one's at. But, 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 but.
where did they write S in in the equation? Um, and if it's first, it's going to be. You said that it's not positive unless it has. Uh, it's just an A. All of those things that they call before, they don't care if they're positive. Oh, okay. What is All of these would rather be negative. So if this, is, if this is first, then it would be an A. First, it would be a positive 5. No, it's not. It's not So if this is first, then you go the other way. Then it's positive, yep. Okay, so it wouldn't be like, uh, since this is negative like 3, it wouldn't be positive. Is that right? No, it would be the only other way. Okay. It's, it's the opposite to get to 8. So I two things combined. So if it's 3 going one way, it's going to be 5 going the other way. If it's 2 going one way, it's going to be 6 going the other way. Remember at the beginning of the year, I told you I was at like 680? Oh, uh, we're like tight. I'm over 900 now.
So you just said there's uh, minus 16. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Four yeah. Like that. so you've done yeah. like that. Now can you go inside the parentheses and see, does that actually come out with a one negative charge? No. no. It does. What? Don't worry about it. So we're done with that problem. You're done with that problem. Yeah. Okay, that's funny. Okay. So and you guys thought I was nuts when I wanted those so things. Out. So we used them like 10 times already. Probably. 